Hey everybody, Sarasota Tim still walking around the uh, Riverside Casino. We're heading to the, the car museum and look, a karaoke room they've got right here. You like karaoke? A lot of people do. In fact, Timmy's friend Mike, he loves singing. And then I walked in and go, look, billiard tables. There's even some more right over here. They're over here playing some, some pool. You got a couple more right here. This is the old school small bar style, not the big professional billiard table. And you just throw in your, um, looks like uh, four quarters? One, two, three, four, yeah. yeah. Just a dollar a game, that's not too bad. Anyway, we're heading over to the car show somewhere. Where is it? Classic auto exhibition. We can get in? Oh, no. Here's another escalator. This place just keeps going. There's more and more. Escalator going down. Casinos everywhere. I, I got two. I bring two for you. Oh, okay. I want it back. Timmy's got me hooked up with a player's card to get into the uh, auto museum. Here it is. Uh, how do we get there? Right here? Now we're going to third floor. All right. We're only, there's like. The second floor just was crazy. Yeah, sure was. So uh, here we go. This is where the big boys spend. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, in case I can't uh, video, I'm gonna be right back in a second. This is a gym. Oh, it's a little bitty one. But look at that view you have of the Colorado River uh, working on the elliptical here. That's pretty kind of cool. Um, but in case the music will block me from uh, making the video again, this is the cars. You walk down through these uh, little things here, and it goes all the way around the other side. It, it meanders around. But look at these cars. There's uh, everything in there. I mean, and they're all cherry. I mean, there's some really cool stuff. Look at all these motorcycles right here. But they usually play uh, copyright music. So I think I will um, let you guys know right now, if you're listening to this part, if there is copyright music, I will simply take the audio from that part of the video out and walk through there and you can at least see these cars because the last time I went through here with him, it's like a 15 minute uh, walk and I couldn't upload it because of the, uh, the music. So we'll walk in here to the front part here. You show your player's car to this nice lady and then you enter right there. How you doing? All right, supposedly uh, this is closed because the guy says it's too long of a walkthrough and he wants to go home uh, before the, uh, his shift's over. But we're going to ask him if he wouldn't mind if we just run through here real quick uh, and not take 45 minutes. We can just go through. This is a guy that rode all over the world in a, a, on a motorcycle. That's him or her, actually. It's a special thing. All right, so we've been, uh, we've been given uh, some permission here to run through kind of quickly. And um, like I said, if the audio is not playing because of the music, then you know uh, it was copyright music. Bonnie and Clyde. Look at this old guy, 37 cord. I don't think so. Here's a 1907 late model. <laughs> All the bullet holes. Here's a 41 Hollywood Graham. Look at all this. I mean, I, Timmy uh, explained a lot of this stuff because he's gone through here several times. There's the Colorado River. Um, and he's told me about what a lot of these pictures and awards and medals and all these things mean. But we're trying to rush through here. So. But look at this stuff. You get this big bay window right here. You can see it from Casino Drive. That's the main road out there. You can see these big windows in the uh, um, Riverside Casino here when you're going down the road. It's on the third floor of the South Building. So here we go. Check out this vehicle. <laughs> it's a fire engine, fire truck. There you go. And then these are all the 9-11 memorials, all the names. Look at this. Look at all that. They're all written on this card. Remember that? Oh, all yeah. The all, all the uh, 
of people that died in 9-11 written on this card. Look at that. Here's a DeLorean. That's Michael J. Fox's. It's not really, but it's out of here. Low original miles. Check it out. Go this way. Here's a Woody. Here's how it was restored. Look at this car. I told you folks, there's some crazy stuff in here. Very cool. What an eclectic array of cars. A little of everything. Look at this action. There you go. There's a coffin. A cramper. Here's an SS. A Stingray, a 68. A T-Bird. That's a Corvette. I'm sorry. What am I saying? Look at this old Ford uh, uh, Ranchero. Look at that. And then here's a cool car. A Continental Lincoln, Lincoln Continental Mark convertible coupe. Uh, rare in all occasions. Uh, I mean, all categories. Here's a Corvette with hideaways and knockoffs. Knockoffs are your rims. It may not even be knockoffs. Somebody will probably correct me on that. Here we go, a 63 Buick Riviera, Skylark. Look at this baby. Look at this thing. Got a little Continental kit in the back. Some special deal here. Skylane Motor Special Story. Wow, look at the thing with all the padding around there. Oh my goodness, never seen anything like it. And then over here we got some Fords. 57 Chevy in blue. Look at this uh, mock Mustang. Where are you going? And then uh, check it out. That is cherry. Look at these, 57 Chevy. Cool color, huh? Look at this Rolls Royce sitting in here. Why? What's the deal? Huh. What is that Rolls Royce sitting there for? Must be a special one. Maybe it was Don Laughlin's, because uh, he passed away recently. Everyone welcome, parents, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's a sign right over there. It must say something. Um, what is that? What is this rolls for? What's that sign say? 2011 Rolls Royce Ghost. A ghost? Was it Don Laughlin? Or it's just a, a collectible in here. A ghost. 1974 Rupp. I had a Rupp mini bike when I was a kid. And uh, we're going to go back around. Uh, I know there's some stuff behind me I wanted to show you guys. 351 Ram Air has a nice Mustang right there. This cool car. Wow. Where should I go? Fifty-six Ford Fairlane Victoria Coupe. You know the thing. Plymouth Fury. Go out this way. I want to show you this little hall of fame right here all these model cars look at this look at this i'm talking about a model car collection look at the size of some of these and then uh some stuff here you can pause the video and see what that's about back in time photos by the bud blomier in 19 i mean what some junks they found out in the yard somewhere and restored them. Stars of our country, we all thank for the serving from Riverside employees. I mean, if you had time to sit here and go through here before they're going to close and read all this stuff and check it out, it's quite a museum if you come here to the Riverside Casino. Here's some more collectibles right here. Oh, remember that? The, uh... No, we got time. We actually have 15 more minutes. Michael Waltrip, uh, Dale Earnhardt. Beginning years of Bullhead uh, Airport.
Well, don't hear the music now, so if I didn't have to edit out the uh, the audio there, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey guys, Sarasota Tim. Before I leave the car museum here, I just wanted to you know tell you guys, you know I love coffee, right? And I'm telling you, I think they have the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life right here at the casino. You don't believe me? Take a look at this. <laughs> look at the size of that cup. Your whole pot can go in there, and that will definitely be the best cup of coffee you ever drink in your life. Well, this is Avante. That's an Avante, right? That's what they call it? Yes. Yeah. Another vet. And we saw this one with the, uh, what do they call it, a thrush uh, pipes on the side. Look how long and low this uh, Coupe de Ville is sitting here. That thing is cherry, man. What a big old long car, wow. Coupe de Ville. Let's go around, see the other side. Who else is gonna bring you this, guys? You know, it's just beautiful out here right now. You're talking about warm days. It's not the 120 or 115 degrees yet. Not at all. May is just fine. It's definitely warm in the day. But as soon as you step in the shade, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So here we go right down the windows here. That's where we made the video earlier. We were standing inside that, uh, looking out the windows. Uh, and Timmy's got his car parked in the uh, cooler parking over there. Over there's the RV park. And here's the... Uh, Look at the size of that 57. It looks long for some reason. It's not even a 57 Chevy. What is that? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a Chevy, right? Look at these motorcycles. Look at this. Look at the chrome engine on that thing. That thing is cool. Look at that big old fat tire. And look at the skinny ones on this. That's a Plymouth, isn't it? What is that? Let's zoom in. I don't have my glasses to see. Let me put my sea rights on. That is a a Lincoln. Now, what does that say? Lincoln. It's a Lincoln. It's a Lincoln. A stinking. I knew it was long. Yep. Well, let's check this out right here. Lincoln. And something about this truck here. Let me back out for you guys. I had this three-wheeler. I had a 110, an ATC 110. Death Look trap. at that, it's a classic now. It's a death trap. I had, it is a death trap. They outlawed them, but they were indestructible. You could take them and roll them down a hill and they'll still run. That's amazing, they got it in there, it's like it's a classic. I had one. Look at this wild looking thing, that's pretty cool. You know that'll go anywhere. Another motorcycle, wild tires and rims. Look at that. And then finally you got this uh, SS Camaro here. Camaros are always nice. And what do you do at the end of the video? You crush it. Well, I keep trying to end tonight's video, but as we're walking out in the parking lot away from the casino, I have to, I just have to video. This is like a 2025. This is a GMC. When we were walking up to it, I said, is that a new Tacoma? This is not the full-size GMC. What are they calling it? It's a smaller GMC. It's a four-door. Look at the chrome step bars on this baby. This thing is, look at this. Look at the wheels. Look at that chrome. That's the nicest chrome step bar. This is the um, elevation. Man, that is so sweet. That is so sweet. Look, it's got the nice sliding rear window. Canyon. It's the canyon. Oh, it is the canyon. Four by four. Wow, they really, you know, GMC is commercial grade, does it man. Change colors, That's man? really quality. It does change colors. Like a green tip? Yeah, over that? here looks silver. And then uh, I can't get over those chrome yeah, running it's boards. It's green when you're in the front area. Yeah. Got these that. markers in the wheel well. That's nice. But look at that front end. That is cool with those thin headlights, LEDs, fogs. And he's got some other little lights right in here. And he's got these sensors. I think it's a camera for um, off-roading. He traveled from somewhere. He got some bugs on the front. 
Yeah, that's a pretty nice looking GMC. But it's not gonna tow anything. It can't pull my camper. But I would I would consider that over a Toyota Tacoma. I mean that's that looks pretty nice. You wouldn't go that far? <laughs> Timmy said, no way, man. Timmy's got him a nice Camry. All right, guys, we are now done. What are you gonna do now? Rush it. All right, everybody, if you can see the uh, the park here and it's not too dark with the lights down and all, this is uh, where you come in and drive around. I'm on this next upper tier. I'm gonna follow this gentleman right here and go up these steps. Uh, they have a restroom here, a laundry mat uh, right there. And the uh, casino, of course, that's the North Tower and the South Tower. We've been all through it tonight, all up around, over at the pool, everything, the car museums. We've seen it all, done it all. Now we're gonna go over here and look at the crasher. And I'm gonna show you my cool lights that I'm gonna turn on the uh, light bar for the awning and my front docking light uh, that I, I like so much. We'll get that turned on for you before we go in the house and put all these clips together and bring this video to you. It's getting kind of late here in Nevada, but it's real late if you're on the East Coast because we're three hours earlier here. I apologize if you're used to, used to seeing a morning chat video from me and videos that may come out earlier in the day. Uh, things are a little different for me over here on the Pacific Coast. There's the uh, crasher and the crusher uh, sitting there by itself uh, in this dark little spot with my shade tree that I have. There's more tiers that go up, like two or three or four more that just keep going like theater seating. And now I'm gonna turn on the dock light in the front and the light bar underneath the awning. So take a look at that and then we'll show you in the next clip what it looks like all lit up. All right, there's the uh, there's the little uh, crasher, the 25 FKBS. I was able to turn all these on uh, with my phone. There's an app for my RV and I just hit all on. And the only thing that I had to manually turn on was the front docking light and the front uh, little light that's on the tongue jack, the electric tongue jack. Uh, but when I hit all on, the step light came on, the light bar underneath the awning and all the interior lights, uh, bedroom and and living room lights uh, came on. Now I will turn off uh, this, um, uh, not the docking light, but this here, that just to help you to see uh, putting the ball uh, on your uh, vehicle. And we just have this nice docking light. There's the windshield. Uh, you can see inside without the window shade down the inside of the crasher. And uh, if you turn off the awning light and leave this on uh, which I can't do while I'm videoing uh, you'll just have a little flood lighting here for you to come in and out of the uh, RV or you can have that on leave it on all night if you want leave this on let's go ahead and turn this one out now there's a little switch right here and now we just have our awning light and step light on and we do have a little bit of lighting right now. There's the beautiful moon. Uh, you have a little flood lighting here. There are electrical boxes, but this does provide uh, some lighting there on the side of the uh, RV. And I will open the door. I'm curious myself what it looks like to turn the awning light out um, and leave this just a step light on. Let's go ahead and do that. And that will be wave that. Okay, that turns that out. And now let's see what we have here. It's uh, almost tripped over my own mat back there. Let me turn around here and back out for you guys. So it's just a uh, incognito now with a little step light there just so you can see where the stairs are uh, to come in. But it really doesn't appear to be, it's tall, but, and, it, and it doesn't seem to be really short like the wolf pup, but it doesn't ever look like it's a big, long camper. But what you do feel like is when you go inside, it is way bigger feeling 
than it looks like out here. Such a nice little uh, camper. I got my Bucky's chair here. Probably can't see that and my table. So let's go ahead and uh, say goodnight to you guys from the uh, Riverside Casino RV Park, crushing it.